CyberArk Identity Flows eliminates manual tasks and processes of identity management through the creation of automated workflows. Identity Flows offers a low-code visual editor, drag-and-drop interface with pre-built and custom connectors allowing you to easily connect to applications. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how Identity Flows can automatically disconnect and remove access to corporate resources from a high-risk user with just a click of a button. We call this the panic button flow. Identity flows can integrate with any application that has a REST API, but in this demo, we integrated with CyberArk Identity, Privilege Cloud, and CyberArk EPM. We see the user, everyday normal guy, logging into a company laptop and authenticating through the CyberArk Windows Cloud agent. Once he's logged in, we see that everyday normal guy has an open session to the CyberArk single sign-on and workforce password management portal. He also has an open session to Privilege Cloud. He has two active CyberArk PSM sessions to a server. We see that this laptop is being protected by CyberArk EPM. If we look in the Identity Admin Portal, we see the user's status is currently active, so he has access to the company's web applications, including Privilege Cloud. In Privilege Cloud, we can see that Everyday Normal Guy has two active Privilege sessions on the domain controller. In the EPM console, we see Everyday Normal Guy is currently logged into an EPM-protected laptop. When we execute this flow, it will create a custom summary report of what the user has access to and then it will execute a script to suspend the user in CyberArk Identity and log out all active sessions in CyberArk Identity. Next, it will terminate all active sessions in Privilege Cloud. And lastly, it will execute a PowerShell script through an EPM policy to log the user off their laptop. This panic button can be integrated into any web portal, but for demonstration purposes, we'll run it inside Identity Flows. When we execute the panic button flow, we'll enter the username of the user that we want to disable and click on the Remove Access button. The flow created a custom summary showing the user's status in CyberArk Identity, the number of active PSM sessions, and the name of the laptop that the end user is logged into. When we click Continue, the flow will start the remediation actions. From the end user's perspective, he will notice his PSM sessions being terminated. Now if the user tries to refresh or update the Privileged Cloud session, he will notice his session has also been terminated. The same will occur with his CyberArk Identity Portal access. At the next EPM policy update interval, a policy will apply only to the client machine that the target user is logged into and automatically log off the user from the computer and potentially run some other controls like disabling network adapters. When the user tries to log back in, he is not able to access the computer because the computer log is secure by the CyberArk Windows Cloud agent and it knows that the user has been suspended. The administrator will receive an email notification that the user has been quarantined and that he can no longer access any systems. When we look at the Identity Admin Portal, we can see that the user now is suspended. In Privilege Cloud, the previous sessions are no longer active. And in EPM, we see the policy to log the user off their computer has been applied only to the client that our target user was previously logged into earlier. To learn more about CyberArk Identity Flows, please visit the link in the description and thank you for watching.